Word today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we'll consider a verse from Proverbs chapter 6 this morning. A good question to begin this short devotion is, is there justice in our world? We see a whole lot of situations where we would say justice is fallen in the streets, and you wonder if there's such a thing as equity and fairness and justice these days. The Bible says that God is always just, and while God does not forcefully and forcibly um, interject himself into life on this planet as notably as perhaps he once did centuries ago, the Bible says God still reigns and he is still the ruler of this universe and the ruler of this world. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8, Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. He that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, and he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Yes, there is justice. And the fact of the matter is, a person's own actions will bring them to a place where they have to acknowledge this law of sowing and reaping because ultimately a person cannot do evil and not suffer for it ultimately in, in, in time. And that's what this verse of scripture is about in Proverbs chapter 6. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 15 says, Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. And the Bible in the context is talking about in verse 12, this naughty person, a wicked man, who walks with a froward mouth, he winks with his eyes, he speaks with his feet, he teaches with his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart, he deviseth mischief continually, he soweth discord. And then the verse that we're considering this morning, therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be bro broken without remedy. Yes, there is justice in our world, in the sense that God is going to make all things right one day. And there's a delay so often of us seeing the truth vindicated, but it will eventually be vindicated and truth will uh, prevail and righteousness will reign and God's truth will be exalted in people's lives and in this world. He's going to rule and reign over the nations ultimately, and he'll be recognized as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords when he makes all things right in this world. It's a blessing to know this. And the Bible says that this person, this wicked person, this mischievous person, suddenly will find himself in calamity. And this should not come as a huge surprise to those who know and love the Lord, because they understand that there is a consequence and there are wages for sin. And there is a natural a natural penalty and there is a positive penalty for a person's sin. And that individual who lives in an ungodly way will find himself broken because of the violation of those eternal principles. It's just always the best thing to submit to the Lord. And sometimes we find ourselves in a state of rebellion, we, we feel just that, that rebel streak rising up within us, may I urge you to realize that it's always the best thing just to submit to the Lord. Just respond with humility and obedience, and the Lord will bless you for that. And you won't have to face the calamities that will be faced by those who intentionally disregard God's laws and God's commands. Submit to the Lord today and ask him to use you for his honor and glory. He'll give you peace. He'll give you joy. He'll give you blessing as a result. Just follow the Lord. God bless you today.